Hello and welcome to Shelf Centered. It's been a little bit since we've had a book haul, so it's time to jump right into it. So uh, I like to start out with Kindle, then go to audio, and then to my physical, because that's really what everyone comes for. Uh, but anyway, starting out, I, lo I love my Kindle books too, though. I like to read on my Kindle propped up by my bed or on my bed and then with my face in my pillow. It does not mean that I'm able to read for very long that way, but that is something I do enjoy. All right, so first let's talk Kindle books. What did I get here? So a couple of really good ones. There were just some deals I couldn't pass up, just some people supporting uh, authors I like and lots of different reasons. But anyway, let's get into it. Blackstone Heart by Michael Fletcher. Been reading, meaning to read Michael Fletcher for some time, and so what a better chance. I think it was, this one was free, so it was like really hard to pass up. Um, and then that trilogy is actually just finished, and so what a better time, too, to grab that. Uh, another one, this one was a, a recommendation from uh, Sarah Shorn. Uh, it's The Gifts of Pandora by Matt Larkin. Uh, just looks good and so uh, and with Sarah's recommendation you can't really go wrong she not only writes good books but also recommends good books that's important uh, the broken oath by Pablo Suarez I mean booktubers supporting booktubers that's what we're here for uh, so I can't wait to read that definitely bought that one um, and go check out Pablo's channel actually too by the way and subscribe great channel good stuff great writing insights as well as fantasy and, and, and science fiction love so that's good stuff um hag of the hills by jtt writer someone thinks he's tolkien or something or george R. R. martin then i got the fall by ryan cahill uh and then what was great is that then the next um because ryan offers that free in if you just sign up for his, his like mailing mailer or whatever uh, or email mailing subscribe subscription whatever thingamabob that he has uh, you get that for free and then um, I think I'd already gotten uh, what is it of I got the, the first two books in that in the main series because the fall is the novella prequel series and I'm I'm blanking on their uh, names right now of darkness and light of uh, <laughs> something or other uh, anyway just couldn't I mean the the praise is is real and I haven't heard a bad thing about that series so I'm really excited and I understand it has dragons I am not against that uh, right uh, then I got Legacy of the Bright Wash by Crystal Mutar this one's just been in the self-published blog off <laughs> battle whatever you want to call it but uh, just been really highly rated by not only the judges in that, but also good friends like Ben uh, and and others. So there, there we have that. Um, then we have I got the blood. Let's see, the blood of Outcast by D. A. Smith. This was one. Look at that cover. It's just a cool cover. Had to I had to have it. Um, and finally, a King's Radiance by L. R. Schultz. Been kind of just. Uh, Friends with author Schultz. I don't know if anyway. I don't know how much to go into people's actual names that I know of. Uh, but anyway, um, on audio, I actually only had. There's only one audio book purchased, so only uh, really one audio book, which is very unique for me. This is usually my big one. Apparently, there hasn't been a a good sale for me. I think there were some sales, but they were like nonfiction or something. Who needs that? Uh, it didn't include fantasy and science fiction, so what a lame sale. Uh, but anyway, I got uh, Along the Razor's ed Edge, Along the Razor's Edge, I wrote End, but I think that's wrong, uh, by Rob Hayes. So I have been meaning to get into some Rob Hayes. Now I have multiple Rob Hayes books. I also have the, what is it, the Mortal Instrument series, I think I already got. So I'm excited to do that. Uh, one of these is going to get read for August, um, in Indie August, so stick around to see what it's going to be who knows finally i got a couple physical books uh the first was an actual purchase uh this was the humans i think it was a books with Brittany recommendation uh by so by matt haig 
Uh, just hear lots of good things. It's unique, interesting, kind of weird. So that's that one. Matt Haig is also the author of the, what is it, the Midnight Library. That's kind of the big new one. But anyway, I hear lots of good things about this one. And then finally we got, all right, got some book mail. I'm gonna attempt not to uh, <laughs> dox myself here. Book mail. I'm actually, I definitely know what this is because uh, I was a giveaway winner and this has the name of the author who, uh, from whose, well, whose giveaway I won on it. So I'm pretty sure I know exactly what this is. This is from Dan Fitzgerald, a pretty well-known self-published author, well-respected, does a lot for the, um, well, for the industry, the publishing, the self-publishing industry here. So I'm trying to get this opened up here. Okay, there we go. Look at this. So we got into it. We got the Hollow Road. I won a ton. So there's like his whole backlog or something. The Archive, The Mayor Cycle Book 2. The Place Below, The Mayor Cycle Book 3. Look at that. The Living Waters. And I'm running out of room in my hand. Living Waters there. The Isle of a Thousand Worlds. Look at that. And that is it. We reached the end. So how cool is that? I might have to retake my intro picture, but what a cool, look at that. All those beautiful books. Thank you so much to Dan Fitzgerald. I'm really excited to get into these. Heard lots of good things, especially about this one. I haven't heard as many about the other ones just because these are the new ones that have been promoted as much or more. And so I wasn't I wasn't around on the Twitters and whatnot to see about the other ones. Um, but I'm excited. These are really exciting, uh, really cool looking books and very excited to see what kind of stuff that these have to bring. Man, I cannot talk. All right. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for all your love and support. We're getting so close to the thousand subscribers. Please subscribe. We're so close to this goal. I don't know if I'm going to be having any other goals other than this. Uh, again, thousand is just crazy to me. Uh, I can't believe we're so close. So anyway, please like and subscribe. It helps push the the videos and my channel out to the uh, to the algorithm and and you know we're having a good time right so anyway thank you appreciate all you guys do love your faces bye